Hi, Nutrient Metrics. Another episode of Frequently Asked Question Friday. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. I'm in the car, headed to Springfield, Massachusetts for Product Symposium. Who's gonna meet me there this weekend? I'm super excited. I am not driving, I am in the back seat, so all is good. We are stuck in a little bit of traffic, but I wanna answer a question that I hear all the time, and I don't know if this is exactly the question, but I feel like this is the sentiment that people are getting at, and it's like, once I have an account, and it, you know, we know, right, that the paperwork, the sign-up part, that that is not when you get started or you get into Nutrametrics. When you get into Nutrametrics, right, is when you just see your volume in your business increasing and no one had to call you, no one had to ask you a question, you didn't have to go into the office, you had nothing to do with it, that's called mailbox money, guys. So how do we get a health professional excited about Nutrametrics? So one of the biggest mistakes that I see, especially now since the game has changed with Nutrametrics, and I, I mean, I, this shouldn't be a news flash to all of you guys because it's been like this for a while with the HP1 program. The HP1 program definitely changed the game for how we onboard and implement with a Nutrametrics account. And one of the things that I see people do in the field is they get on the phone with me and they're like, Sarah, I have a new account and I'm so excited because um, I already started working their names list. I already started, I'm so psyched. They led me to a bunch of other practitioners. But at the same time, these same NCs that are telling me that they're gathering names, like as if, you know, it's the apocalypse and they're collecting, you know, black beans in a can and purified water. Um, at that same time, they're complaining to me that they don't have enough time, that they're nervous about when they're gonna be able to implement, that they're having a hard time stopping in these offices, in their accounts on a weekly basis. So you're saying to me that you don't have enough time, yet your number one focus is onboarding new accounts. Guys, dig your heels in and get ready for a ride because that's what you wanna do when you onboard someone who is really excited, who wants to implement the practice. Let's just go through this example of Daily Essentials packets. I love Daily Essentials packets. They're so simple to take, so easy. And what is so great about Daily Essentials packets is that the retail margin is $22, right? So if we had 25 patients on daily essentials that would be about 550 it would be 550 dollars of retail profit a month coming in so i usually tell my accounts if you sell three boxes a week that's 36 boxes in a quarter if not even everyone stays on let's say 25 patients stay on now you have 25 patients ordering daily essentials monthly from you if you do this four quarters in a row, you'll have 100 patients on Daily Essentials and the account will bring in $2,200 a month in retail profit. When you look at that retail profit over the course of then a full year, it's about $26,000 in retail profit and it's about $7,000 in commissions. So let's see. Am I really excited about $7,000 in commissions or $26,000 in retail profit? I think a lot of you guys are throwing away the 4,000 BV a month potential from these 100 patients on Daily Essentials because you're chasing after getting them $7,000 a year from commissions. I really think what you need to do is dig in for the first 12 to 18 months on retail. Retail, 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 retail. Get them the base. Have them be an account that's selling anywhere from three to $5,000 a month in product. We're gonna count it as BV. When they run their numbers, they're gonna understand it as dollars. They're gonna be tracking their retail dollars. We want them to be selling anywhere from three to $5,000 a month. What do you guys think about this? Weigh in. Does this change the way that you think about working with your accounts? How have you been doing it? Have you tried it this way? And I can say that um, working with some accounts myself, I have an account and she's on her second year. We're finally seeing these residuals in ordering. We're seeing a nice retail base. 
And guess what? I've been naturally being led to more practitioners from her. But those practitioners that I work with, I'm gonna dig in for 12 to 18 months on retail, retail, retail. When you look at the profit projection in the business plan, I think we're focusing on the wrong numbers when we're talking to our providers. I don't think we're digging in hard enough. I think we're making this too much of a job. We're making this too hard on ourselves. And what do you guys think? I want you to weigh in. And if you have a question that you would like featured on an upcoming episode of Frequently Asked Question Friday, send an email to Nutrimetrics at Nutrimetrics.com with the subject line FAQ Friday, and you will be sure to see your question answered in an upcoming episode. Come say hi to me if you see me this weekend at Product Symposium, and I'll talk to you all next week.